아직까지는 어, 얼굴을 뵙지 못했다. Uh, the first of all, uh, congratulations for uh, the Australian team. Uh, thank you for you guys' effort, and then uh, we learned uh, a lot from you guys. And uh, to be honest, uh, if I judge, if I assess, you know, the performance of our team, um, uh, today's match is the the best match, you know, among the the last four games, including today's match. Um, but the unfortunately, the first goal we conceded uh, it was uh, deflection uh, from you know our own uh, defenders. So if we didn't concede, you know, that that kind of you know just unlucky goal, uh, the game, the, the whole game would have been you know changed. So I think you know the in the in context of the game, uh, we didn't really actually um, uh, play badly. So uh, so I I feel like you know just a bit shamed. So regardless of the four goal we conceded, I would like to thank you for my players, and then I'm very happy about you know my. Performance, uh, our team. Thank you. Move to the questions. Um, yeah, coach. Um, congratulations on your tournament. Um, we noted that you didn't just sit back; you really pressed hard and made life very difficult for Australia. And they looked like they panicked. Um, could you please talk us through that and how you thought that that worked? Because Australia really did struggle with it. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, I don't think we lost uh, in terms of the you know performance level, and I think that one of the reason why because uh, the the players you know did well. Uh, you know, I just gave you know the players instructions you know how to play, and then they just follow my instruction very well. So um, yeah, that was um, from our preparation, and then but still. Uh, we lost because of the, you know the the level of difference uh, experience and some of level of concentration. So uh, someday uh, we're gonna play you know yeah similar level against you know Australia. Hello, good scene. I'm Iksan from Indonesia Compass Daily. Uh, yeah. Uh, in regards uh, our people, our uh, fans of football, uh, I really appreciate and gratitude for for you to uh, give us a new history in our football uh, in our football especially in national team but and uh, my question is as you know that uh, in four games in uh, this tournament you always say that uh, the team always uh, develop more and more in every game such as in this game and so uh, what do you think that uh, we need maybe uh, our federation maybe our league maybe our clubs uh, to uh, more develop and uh, to uh, support the national team to be more developed to be more better especially uh, in the in Asia level thank you coach i'm quite satisfied with the the roles of you know PSSC and then support from PSSC uh, however i kept mentioning you know many times the Indon indonesian football league uh, should be stronger so that the national team level also uh, can be supported by you know the league performance level, so that's uh, some of the changes is isn't very necessary. Coach, commiserations on the result today, but congratulations on your team's tournament. Y you mentioned uh, in your answer to my colleague about how you instructed your players to press Australia, and they did that very well. Um, I guess why did you instruct them to press so high rather than sit back and defend? What weaknesses in Australia did you identify that made you um, want them to press as the best path to victory? I think the football is uh, to win, you know. Uh, we play football to win. So uh, I just studied and then just you know, had the lots of thoughts about you know how we win against Australia rather than just only, you know, showing good performance rather than uh, the thinking about, you know, the last result. Um, and then I think, you know, we press up high, then uh, probably we're going to have a more opportunity to score the goal because uh, we can, maybe we can get, you know, some of, you know, ball possession, you know, easily. But however, uh, we didn't uh, finish well and then we concede a goal. So, yeah, we lost and then... Uh, I wouldn't mention about. I would like to mention about you know how the uh, Australian teams need to, you know, be better. 
uh, what way you know they need to use. But uh, I think you know because uh, the Australian team and then the head coach of Australian team uh, had an experience you know with against you know playing against us. So by the experience you know playing against us, uh, maybe Australian team will develop. Uh, to the coach, uh, any message from the PSSI president? Mr. Eric Tokia, to you and also the team after the match. Thank you. Uh, so far, you know, I didn't see him after the match. Hello, I'm from Xinhua News Agency. Uh, we can see uh, teams from Southeast Asia has ma have made uh, progress in this tournament. So after your um, uh, past year uh, work in Indonesia, uh, in your opinion, what's the key reason uh, behind your team's progress, uh, especially in this to tournament, to make the first appearance in the last 16? And uh, what's your next target for your team? Thank you. The one of the reason why uh, we keep, you know, showing you know our progression and development because. I think you know the the players you know did well, and also players you know trust you know me as a head coach, and then they followed my uh, you know guideline instruction etc. And also the PSSC, uh, which is uh, the Indonesia Football Federation, uh, they just supported me well. They just gave me lots of trust. So uh, I'd like to thank you for you know the PSSC, the Indonesia Football Confederation. And the second uh, answer. Uh, you know, just individually and our, also the team, the next target is uh, we want to, you know, go through uh, next World Cup qualifiers. So like, you know, final qualifications. Because uh, the first two matches uh, in Iraq and Philippines, we just uh, one draw and one defeat. So, uh, you know, upcoming days, like, you know, the m in March time, uh, we're going to, we want to have a you know, good result so that we can just go through another, uh, the final qualification. Commiserations on the result today, but well done for the tournament. Um, you've now played uh, Australia, Japan, two of the, the pre-tournament favourites. You've played Iraq, who are emerging as a very good team. I'm just wondering which of those three teams sort of impressed you the most? And of all the teams in the tournament, which team do you think will go on to, to win it in the end? Uh, obviously, the three teams, Iraq and uh, Japan and Australia, you know, those three teams are, you know, very, very strong. And each of, you know, each of them, uh, they have a different team color and different play style. Just uh, I, I learned, you know, many things from, you know, those teams. And also the other two teams, you know, additionally, like, you know, Korea and Iran. I think uh, those five teams will compete for a trophy in Asian Cup. Last question. Sure, I will take your question now, please. 감독님, 그 한국과 만나고 싶었을 텐데 좀 아쉬울 수도 있, 아쉬움이 남으실 텐데 그런 부분에 대해서 한번 말씀하시면 감사하겠습니다. Uh, personally, you would like to meet a Korean national team in quarterfinal, but uh, probably you failed, so maybe it's just a bit shame. So, uh, what's your thought about it? I don't think it was a dream. We were young and we didn't have a lot of experience. The game was very good, but Oh,可能给你这种的，你这经验不透明，这个韩国和不透明，可能这些现实的大国，这个国，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个，这个
the Korean national team at the uh, in the quarterfinal stage. Uh, our players a bit uh, lack of experience. Uh, still, I'm satisfied with the you know performance level. Uh, we still need to uh, develop, you know, improve how we're gonna develop our attacking play in you know uh, opponents, you know, uh, defending third area. Uh, anyway, and then uh, if I can have any chance again uh, to play against Korea, uh, I just really want to, you know, play against you know Korea uh, while I'm uh, working in Indonesia national team. Thank you. Go ahead. Yes. Hello, uh, I'm Haris from Indonesia for Coach Sintayong. Uh, after considering two goals in the first half, have you ever thought to? changing the formation to 4-3-3 and playing more aggressive in the second half. And uh, my second question is, what is your main evaluations for the team uh, performance in this tournament? Thank you. formation <laughs> 어, 이 토너먼트 전체 경기력에 대해서 한번 감독님께서 좀 평가를 해주셨으면 좋겠습니다. 네, 전반전 끝나고 따로 뭐 포백으로 가서 공격적으로 <웃음> 나가는 것은 뭐 선수단이 충분 안 했고요. 어, 후반 80분 정도 될때 어, 일단 오삼이 형태로 어, 변형된 어, 포메이션을 어, 가져갔고 어, 선수들이 뭐 그래도 어, 경기 중에 포메이션 바꾸면서 유기적으로 잘 해줬고 어, 일단 우리 선수들이 어, 내 경기 치르면서 어, 경기력은 할수록 좋아지고 있다는 것을 많이 느꼈고 어, 계속 이제 얘기는 우리 어린 선수들이 경험이 없고 어, 팀에서도 사실 경기를 출전하지 못하던 선수들이 어, 이래 큰 메이저 데려와서 경기를 출전하다 보니까 어, 경기력과 어, 경기 체력과 이런 부분이 많이 부족했던 부분이 이렇게 좋은 팀들하고 경기했을 때 어, 눈에 띄게 보였던 점이 좀 많이 아쉽다. 어, 팀에서 어, 경기를 쭉 뛰면서 왔던 선수였으면 어, 훨씬 더 어, 저는 개인적으로 어, 우리 팀이 더 강해졌고 더 좋은 팀을 변모할 수 있었는데 어, 팀에서 경기력이 전혀 없던 선수들을 짧은 시간 안에 경기 체력과 경기력을 모든 걸 끌어올리려니까 쉬우지 않은 어, 대회가 됐다. 앞으로 이런 것을 우리가 경험을 잘 살려서 어, 하면 훨씬 더 좋은 팀으로 변모할 것을 변모할 것이란 것은 저는 분명히 자신 있고 믿고 있다고 봅니다. 어, uh, after the first half, uh, I didn't really change, you know, our tactical uh, aspect and uh, tactical things. And just uh, around 30 minutes in the second half, which is 80 minutes after after 80 minutes, uh, I changed, you know, five three two. I just put, you know, one more striker. Um, yeah, just players that did well. Uh, they just followed my um, just instruction. Uh, uh, last four games uh, we played so far. Uh, I could see uh, we uh, keep developing, you know, and then uh, still one thing uh, I kept one of the thing you know I kept mentioning is uh, we have you know a lack of experience. Uh, players are young, and even so many players you know they they couldn't play in their own professional team. So which means uh, the the fitness, game fitness, and sense game sense. And those things, you know, just uh, is so hard, you know, to develop in a short period of time. So uh, if the players had, uh, you know, the regular matches in their own professional team, uh, probably we would be much, you know, easier. It would be much easier to for us to develop, you know, team performance. So I hope, you know, those things will be, uh, you know, better.